Welcome back to the bakery run back. We're going, uh, we're going to Mangere for this one, for one more bakery. Uh, this was uh, our first, this is, there's a lot of firsts in this one. Our first guest, which was uh, Mikel. Uh, Mikel was, uh, we had chats about, um, do, you know, like bakeries a lot, me and Mikel. And uh, he's a big fan, of, he's, a, he's a Mangere boy. So we had to do uh, one more bakery. We were slowly getting a, a groove of things. This was the same day that we did the Drury one. So we went out to Drury. You can see I'm still wearing my red t-shirt under that hoodie. But we went out to Drury and then we came back and then we went out to Mangere and did this one. Right across the road from um, Southern Cross campus. But um, yeah, we'll get into it as well, eh? Well, the word mangere in Māori means lazy, but they ain't nothing lazy about the people out here. They ain't nothing lazy about the bakeries out here. So that's why I come out here to see what the hell is going on. Oh. Hey, Sully. Oh, I heard you're looking for the good stuff. Look at him, brother. Absolutely horrible acting job from me. Let me show you the way. Bakery run, time to get jacked here in 275. My name is Mikau Muripola, AKA Bloody Samoan, AKA Liger, the Smash Mouth Samoan. And I'm here to show you where the best bakery is in my hood. That was just outside of uh, Southern Cross. Uh, I actually rolled my ankle that day and Will laughed at me. Thanks. I've got that. <laughs> you do? <laughs> if you have it, can you play it, bro? Because yeah. it was actually quite sore. I rolled my ankle and I still carried on. Mm. Still... I'm going to be on the lookout. I'm going to be finding some good stuff. All right, let's go. All right, do that again. Oh. Yeah, did you get that, bro? Did you get that? Did you get me? Did you get that fucking... I was there, brother. Nobody cared. Uh, still to this day, no one cares. All right, let's go. Again, ugly logo. Hold up. Can we go back to that logo for a second? I just want to put this out here. That picture is actually from uh, my Twitch days. And the bro was just like, we need a logo. Can I have that one? And it looks like I'm trying to, like, blow the pies. Like, whew. They're too hot. But we were, like like I said, like we were very, very early on in, in production. We didn't, yeah. Had no clue. Look at that drone shot. Oh! Changed my shoes there. Those, yo, those, uh, those king shoes are, are lit. But look at those cool greys, bro. Oh! Never tie them up because I'm not running away from anyone. Yo! Ladies first. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> cool. Can I have two uh, pork buns, two steak and cheese, and two uh, fudge cakes? I know exactly no, what cake. I was getting. Fudge cakes, yeah. fresh steak and cheese pie. Yep. Rest of the pizza is uh, two uh, orange, yep. no sugar um, uh, one more coke, by the way. I uh, <laughs> didn't know why I got that. I'm happy to see Yo, yo. It was hard. We got uh, the steak, steak and cheese like we do every episode. We got some, we got pork. That was so, like, listen, like, that was so busy. Like, all the shots that we had, you probably like, oh, it doesn't look that busy. It was busy that day. We had to wait so long just to get in there. And yeah, Mikel was great. Yo. <laughs> I'm happy to see Yo, yo. We got uh, the steak, steak and cheese like we do every episode. We got some, we got pork buns. Yo, pork we have got pork buns before. These things are like... Mikel was great in this They're like too. softballs, bro. They're massive. And then we've got um, some uh, fudge cake which is why yeah. everybody comes out here for, right? The infamous windmill bakery. Very mountain. infamous. So what did you get? Oh, I got chills. Why did you get yours with no cream? Are you not a cream guy? Nah, yeah, it's like, I know, I know you like a bit of cream around your mouth, but man, I like mine dry. <laughs> <laughs> the innuendos here. But yeah, uh, we went all the way out to Mangere Bridge for this one. I was like, bro, <laughs> it was funny on this one. I was like, bro, let's just film it in the bus stop. <laughs> I remember that. Bro, let's just film it on the bus stop, bro. It's all good. I don't want to go anywhere. And then this guy was in the bus stop and we were waiting for him. <laughs> we were waiting for this dude, man. Uh, we thought he was waiting for a bus. So we're like, we'll wait for the bro to get on his bus. This bus came and then it left and he was still just in there having a smoke. And I was like, oh, damn. I, I think he's just chilling out for the day there. So yeah, we, we, and then we're like, okay, let's go to Mangere Bridge which is a little bit further out, but um, it, was, it was a great setup. It was a great setup. Mikhail was the one that was like, I, I know it's a place. It's cool how many people were there. That's what I found yeah. out there. Yeah, no, man, it was, it was pumping. Stick of cheese, we got stick of cheese pie. Um, the classic. Bro, like, it was, this was $3.50, yep. and it's huge. Yeah, like, tolu ta'ala ma limas fulu senye. Salofa, brother. Fa mole mole. 
Someone class is coming in handy. <laughs> no, I love them, bro. Bro, it used to be the same that used to be cheaper. It used to be like a dollar, dollar fifty for steak and cheese fire, like a few years ago. So good days. Uh, but it's uh, totally understandable, it's still affordable now. Oh. But what was good was that when we ordered these, they these were fresh, yeah. right? They they had none in the uh, they had none in the Boys high warm. They were for like, oh, just cow. wait a couple of minutes. To, uh, uh, and so we got. Oh, bro, the pigeons are big food and stuff. Heavy. I see some cheese also spilling out as well. So, <laughs> see, so it's not lacking like cheese content, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's yeah. get it. First thing I noticed, y'all, no jelly. They ain't yeah, no there's some jelly there, my bro. I don't know what you're thinking. Jelly. Steak, I didn't get a piece of steak I, I in my first bite. You know, not, not a lot of the time you don't. I can see why people fuck with this pie. It's going back to it. Yeah. It's a bit chewy. It's a very messy it is, pie. It is a little chewy, yeah. yeah. It's like it a, a rump steak, eh? Hey? Yeah. You can feel the shape of it. Of the, of the, of Why didn't I crack on that joke? When he said you can feel the shape of it in your mouth. Why didn't I crack on that? Come on, Tim. You're better than that. So like, it definitely feels like cube. Um, the gravy isn't too strong, which I, which I, which I, which I, I like. I don't like the gravy too overpowering. Shut uh, up. It does complement the, the steak. But yeah, pastry's nice. I, I think my one had a lot more gravy than I thought it would be. Yeah, structurally. Yeah, actually, yeah, the, yep. the, there is more, quite a lot of gravy in this. No, um, I do remember when it wasn't the case, but the final up. rating for that is three, three point two five. Yeah, as as one of Windmill Bakery's biggest advocates, I'm not afraid to call out when it's bad or if it's mediocre. And I must admit, tonight uh, today's uh, pie was above average, so I'll give it. A, so you can see, it's yeah, three point seven five. Still solid well, pie, ads. but wasn't as good as I was hoping. All right, so we've got a pork bun. Pork buns, man. I noticed like there's more pork buns out this way. There's, you can't get big yeah, mangari, ones like this. I think mangari well, or, or tahu. Yeah, and, like this is this is again something you That's wouldn't where the pork necessarily buns are find. Buns are huge. Yeah. So we had to we had to get uh, get some pork buns. Okay, here's something funny. When he started tearing off that paper, in my head I'm like this. Do I've been eating that paper for like the last four years, bro? I don't even know you're supposed to take that off. <laughs> I'll just eat it, bro. Far out. Who cares? It's only paper. So that's so the pork am. bun was three fifty for the size. Look at that, bro! That you get three fifty is actually pretty good. It's the same price as the pie as well. So yeah, I, I remember I had a boss, and he's never been out south. And I said, shout out to shout out to Dave Mackay, my boss, my boss Dave Mackay. This is a true story. I, I don't know if he watches this. Dave uh, was like, "What's a pork bun? Is it like a bun with pork in it?" And I was like. No, no, you, you're kind of, but it's, and he's like, I've never had one. I took him out to Otahuhu, took him to Penasi. It's like, what, like a bun with like, uh, talking? And I was like, no, 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 yeah. like a pork bun, like it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought him out. Shout out, out to my bro, Dave. Uh, Love you, Dave. Rick Center, Otahu Rick Center. Yeah. And I bought him out. I said, here, mate, try this. Wow, I just told and this story uh, twice. Like, that means I'm not Where lying. Been all my life? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, so uh, for you Balangis who are watching this, a pork bun is very much like a bowel bun. You know, those things that you eat at those uh, fusion uh, burger restaurants that you uh, bougie motherfuckers to eat it. <laughs> first swear, that's the first swear on the bakery run. Wasn't me. He said bougie mother effers. Wasn't me. You, it gets a lot looser later on. <laughs> okay, it gets a lot looser. Oh, um, so yes, this is the street bowl. I like it a little bit doughy, eh? Not like so doughy that it's only a little bit of meat. No. Oh. This is a good, good yeah, it was a good, it was a good pause. It actually reminds me of like that, like that a shot there Japanese of the slow mo. Like, That's the like first time we did a slow mo. Oh, the first time we did a slow mo kind of a yeah. shot, Heaps and of meat. Um, we started yeah. getting yeah. Heaps of a lot meat good when you think about it. Size of it, look at that. That's it's my hand, and I have big size one hands. Final ratings. Are you happy with a three? Yeah, three. Three out of five. Yeah, it was a great. It's great having me, Um The next item we have the final item the final <coughs> the very <coughs> final one and we couldn't we couldn't head up uh, windmill bakery without the famous mud cake it's, thing, it's hey. good mm. and they make massive ones if you're islander you know what i'm talking about everyone from around auckland gets their mud cake they from do windmill bakery. i had a look up on the, the board when we went in there it was like 40 bucks for a massive one it was 60 bucks mate sort it out um but no uh this is this actually is like that's why we wanted to go to Windmill is because they're notorious. They're, they're known for this, this uh, fudge cake, and they man like everybody from all around South Auckland goes out there. So that's why we wanted to really like I knew of it. I never had it before, and uh, I may have had it, but I didn't know. But yeah, I had a look up on the the board when we went in there. It was like forty bucks for a massive bucks. one. 
Yeah. And so. yeah, this was uh, two dollars fifty. Yeah, two dollars fifty. Two dollars fifty. You got the cream. Bro. I got, I got the, yeah, because cash rules everything around you. everything. So that you was know, $2. like two dollars yeah, fifty for that $2. goodness. My one's a bit man good because I put it in the car. <laughs> that was mine. It's okay. I'll still yeah. eat it. You know. So me. we were we were actually really lucky to get these because while we were waiting in line, it's I true. think we saw the mud cake trays refreshed at least twice. Yeah. See. While we're standing there waiting to order, so we we're like, oh, we could run out. Oh, we got miss out. So yeah, right. but they got that unlocked. Uh, this is like the Big Mac. <laughs> of Mangere, right? The secret sauce, yep. This is a great, like, a lot of a great people, analogy. Every time, when I said I was coming out to Wimbo, I had probably about 60 M's. They were like, bro, you gotta have the mud cake. Yep. You gotta have the mud cake. And I was like, you know I'm gonna get it. That was the first time I realized, don't tell people where you're going. Because I start, I tell, oh, I'm going to, I think I put it on my Instagram and I was like, we're going to Windmill Bakery. And my, like, when I say that we're going somewhere, people are like, oh, bro, you need to try this, you need to try that. And they're kind of like, yeah, I, I, I want to be surprised, you know? Okay, yeah. yeah, so sweet. Um, bro, let's just... Let's go into it. it. I feel like I'm having like, like a sentient moment right now. I feel an out-of-body experience. This was good. so good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Great editing, by the way. You know, you just... You can uh, tell mm. why it's... Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's, when Will was in his, uh, it's pretty, in his it's bag. It's pretty evident. Like, and, he, and he got more and more in his bag as he, as he went along. <laughs> if I ice cream, if I can, I'll be in the stratosphere. Alright, you put this in a microwave. Not that, it's not flowery. You could sell this in Ponsonby for $7. <laughs> And you'd be okay. Nobody would mess with you. But please don't do that one more bakery. I'm just holding it and you can see the indentation of my finger. That's how... This was... This was the first time I... F oh, I don't want to say figured out, but I realised that what I said actually translates to things. Because we did this episode and then... We did this episode and then I got like pictures people would send me hey bro i'm here now i'm at winmore bakery where you were last week check this out bro i've tried this you're so right i kept getting the and that was the reason i go far out like i'm not just that's i think this episode was the one when i realized it's just not i'm not set, i'm doing a video for 20 people like it was actually like a lot of people were watching it this one on facebook went crazy this was the one right will it was like 160,000 in like in, a, in like a month Something, this one went crazy. Someone posted it somewhere, right? This essentially kicks out the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our Facebook was, you know, it was just a YouTube thing. We were mucking around. We'll chuck this one on Facebook. He chucked the other ones on, but this one just took off. And I think it was like an Australian page that has a lot of expats. Chucked it on there and it just went woof. And then all of a sudden... Bro, and then even if you check into the comment section, this is there was arguments going on. How could you go there? You, this is better than this. Blah 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 blah. And that's what we were trying to get going. And this is the first time when I realised, shit, we're getting some traction here. We we're really getting some traction. So yeah. Like all the all the flavour is in the cake, so they don't try to overdo it. Yeah. Yeah. No. This is my birthday cake coming up, man. <laughs> this is this is going in the hall of fame with that. With he the said F word, and I said shit. No shit. They don't try to do too much, no. but they do it very have, well. With something so simple can be. So I have different. come out to Mangere. I would come out to Mangere for this easy. Everyone does come out to Mangere for this. Mm. So the cake is. Oh, I went about fifteen. Is about it's. I went hundred and fifty percent. I would. I would go above our scale. This is. And what's so good about it is it's, it's cheap. Yeah. And I know that. I hope really, that the next you know, episode like, you don't yeah, have the same. Uh, well above two dollars fifty for me. Yeah, 18 out of 5. I Look see your 15 and I'll make it 18 so it's legal. Um, out of 5. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, man. That's us. Thank you so much, my brother. Yeah. Ah, thank you for bringing me out to the enemy territory of Manga the Bridge. That's yeah. right. <laughs> but I had to bring. When he said that, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I had never gone to win, uh, either Windmill or a Hong Kong bakery before that. I mean, we'll get to the Hong Kong stuff later on. But that was the first time. When he said that, I kind of gauged. Oh, there's this little rivalry thing between Mangere Bridge and Mangere Bakeries. And uh, yeah, it's so funny that he said that. Yeah, what you gonna do, Hong Kong Bakery fools? Down below, you know what to do. Hit us with, if you think that you could beat this, I'm, uh, I'm not too sure about these, but uh, if you can beat this. <laughs> I'm not sure about those. Uh, let's, I think there's a lot of things that could beat that pie and that thing, but this cake was, oof. I don't think there's another better, I don't think there's a better cake 
in all of all, in all of New Zealand. Like I'm gonna be honest, that's two dollars fifty. I don't think there's one. And don't hit me with these bougie places that cost like seven dollars. I don't want those places. Hit me with this, and we'll see what's up. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one now. Peace. Yo, shout outs. Shout outs to Mikhail Mulapulo, bro. He's, uh, he was our very first guest. Uh, just such a good, he, he, he knew the assignment and he knew what we were doing and he came on with the energy and uh, yeah, it was a great episode. So, yeah, episode three, um, this was when we really started ramping up. Like the first one was just, oh, that's cool. They're doing a bit of this. Yeah, and then we knew we need to be consistent and uh, yeah, so... And it's weird because you, I mean, you'll look at certain areas, like you might look at it on YouTube and you're like, oh, that's not that many. But if you put them all together, you're like, wow, you know, so um, especially the Facebook, the, this one for Facebook just whew, put us into a, put us in front of people that really got into the bakery run. So yeah, that's episode three done for uh, bakery running it up, running it back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the fourth one is our next one. It's a new Lynn. It's with, um, with Pax, Pax Asadi way back in 2002. 2000 yeah so um thank you guys for watching uh if you give us your bakery your favorite no don't do that i hope you guys are enjoying it and um yeah let's let's go on to the next one